The Department of Social Development is launching the Child Protection Week in Lusikisiki in the Eastern Cape. The focus will be on teenage pregnancies. Our reporter, Luandile Mbulali, uh, spoke to the Deputy Minister for Social Development, Henrietta Bukhopanezulu, on uh, the significance of this day. Greetings to and greetings to everyone watching at home. We are still here at Nusigisigi in the Eastern Cape. The launch of the Child Protection Week by the Social Development. Uh, talking to children, talking to residents of this area. You will know that this is a hot spot when it comes to uh, uh, teenage pregnancy in the whole of Eastern Cape. Uh, in a statistic uh, released in the 20, in 2020, you know, uh, nearly 700 teenagers were uh, pregnant between the ages of 10 and 14 years old but to talk to us about this launch here in Lusigisig I do have the deputy minister of social development uh, minister uh, tell us about this launch you know what do you want to highlight Thank you for the opportunity. Child Protection Week we are, has been around for the past 25 years and it is a week that is dedicated to all South Africans where we need as parents first and foremost to reflect on our parenting skills, those public servants that are providing services to children, uh, politicians like myself in terms of the policies that we have uh, developed, allocation of resources but also he listening to the voice of children. When all is said and done, uh, we are expected as a government to create an enabling environment where children can prosper, can play, can learn, and also that they can be supported, they can have a name, they can be in the population. All of these things are things that we are revisiting um, during this particular week. It's a week that we use to actually reflect on the progress that we have made to protect children. I think one of your focus today is uh, uh, teenage pregnancy. From what you hear uh, from the, the children that have spoken, what are some of the issues that they are facing, the teenagers that uh, they've actually uh, took to the podium? I think teenage, the word, actually makes us too comfortable. So we, the, I, I never use teenage, I use children who have children because when all is said and done, that child is still a child and that child has a child. Then we have a chain of lack of parenting, we have a chain of uh, child-headed households because sometimes when we talk about child-headed households, we tend to think that we are talking about children offended by one thing or the other, be it COVID, being HIV. But it is also where parents are like, now you are a mother, you are 15 years old, you've got two kids, please go and start your own family. So we also need to take it from that perspective that firstly we are slow both as government NPOs the community at large the traditional leaders to open statutory rape cases even though the law says um, chill, uh, when a child has had sex below the age of 16 that's statutory rape for some strange reason we find it difficult to actually start charging people and for as long as we are hesitant in actually evoking that particular part of the law whether it's the bless us, everybody will continue to take advantage of the girl child. It's time that we need to be serious about protecting uh, the rights of children. It cannot be that 25 years later, the situation of South Africa's children has gotten worse instead of getting better. But we invest time and energy in looking at the Child Protection Week. I, I don't think it's, it's, it's a... It's something that we actually should be doing because South Africa's children are more at risk, they are more abused, they are more killed, they are more raped than they were 25 years ago before we even started with this Child Protection Week. So I think uh, South Africa, I don't know whether I must say let's protect children, maybe I must start by saying let's respect children because when you respect somebody you have the energy to, to actually protect them. Uh, some of the speakers were saying that more needs to be done also in terms of uh, also engaging boys, you know, trying to teach them about teenage pregnancy and other things as well. We do have and we engage a lot with boys. 
uh, because as social development we have the behavioral change programs of which it's a compendium of, 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 of services. We have the program Men and Boys Championing Change and I really need to say this and the boys are not necessarily responsible for making the girls pregnant. It is older men, half of them have families and half of them know that they've got the money to flesh, they've got uh, the big cars, I call them 4Ms. I call them macho men with money. See those macho men, macho mobile men with money are my problem. So if anybody can find them somewhere, please eh, assist me because these are the men that are disturbing my peace and actually uh, busy raping my children. Thank you so much, Minister. Well, that is the Deputy Minister of Social Development talking to us about the launch of the Child Protection Week here in Lusiki Sigi, saying that, you know, the community, you know, traditional leaders, community leaders, families need to play a role in protecting children and also to try and, uh, and protect girls because girls, you know, face a lot of challenges, especially in remote rural areas. So a lot of community members here need to play a role and help government. Uh, fighting uh, gender-based violence as well as teenage pregnancy from us in Sigisig it is back to you in studio